everybody. It's Honey, aka Harriet, and I am back with another quick video for you guys. I wanted to show you guys how I do my grits because I'm making a little brunch. It's Happy Thursday, so I'm on point with uploading and <laughs> on Thursday. But I wanted to show you guys how I do my grits, and so let's get into it. It'll be really quick. Um, I'm making hash browns, grits, and some fried spam for like my breakfast lunch because I'm not a big breakfast person. But anyway, so what I went ahead and did is in my pot, and I'm going to show you guys, is I've got butter in there. I've got my seasoning salt, my Johnny's, you know all of my Johnny's, and some garlic and some pepper. And I'm just trying to get that to get into going. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my wet ingredients and start to get that boiling. Now the difference with grits, because I wanted to show you guys my difference, and I'm using the um, enriched, how you say that, Albers? Quick grits, old school, been around longer than I've been alive. <laughs> and I'm using these grits, but the difference with me and my grits is we will be going um, we're doing the serving size for one cup because I'm just making it for myself. Um, but as you see how it tells you, you do the one cup water. We will not be using water. I don't know about you guys. I hate using water for my grits, my cream of wheat, my cornbread. Uh, and one thing I've noticed now on the Jiffy box, it says use milk. When I was young, I remember it said water and egg, but... I don't know about you, how you do your thing is how you do your thing. I cannot stand using water. I do not like how it turns out. And so, that was one thing that prompted me to do this video for you guys, was the fact I wanted to show you how I do my grits. I kind of like them to turn out like cream of wheat, and this is how I do them. So that was what prompted me to do this video, and I hope you like it. So, following the directions, it would say you do one cup water. Um, dash of salt. I put in, if I had to estimate, maybe maybe a teaspoon of salt, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper, and then I did put some garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon of that. Um, and I might end up adding a little bit more salt. And then it says one fourth cup of the grill of the grits will yield one cup, which is basically one serving. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how I'm going to measure this out. Now I've got my whole milk. Um, I use whole milk. You guys can do low fat, do skim, however you do it. I like the, the, the taste of whole milk. And I'm not using too much. Now we go according to the serving size. So since it's saying one cup water, I'm going to use a half a cup of milk. And I'm going to show you why. Because we're going to add to it. So I've got my half cup to this. And I've got my burner turned up to about medium high. And I'm turning them up to medium high. He was up. I dropped him a little bit because I was babbling. And you just want to make sure it's just about as level as you can get it. And then that's how you know. And then I add that. And so I'm going to add to this. And I just like to get it stirred up in the bottom. I love using my orange spatula. Um, with these pots, so if you see that a lot because you don't want to scrape your pot as much and these are older pots as you can tell so I try to not have to scrape them and I had learned a real lesson that even if I'm doing eggs or something it's not good to use the silverware or use that metal against that it scrapes your pan and it scrapes off all that that you need for um, your pan so that's just my little tidbit that I learned um, and then here's my trick let y'all know my secret. This is what I do. And you don't have to do it. How you do your grits is how you're doing it. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm doing it. And I'm going in with a half a cup of evaporated milk. And I'm just going over my sink so to measure it out. Now this is pretty thick so I'm probably going to have to use um, a spatula. And you don't, you could probably use a little bit less and do more milk if you want to, because I know some people are like, but this is how I like it. Um, so you could even do, you know, a little bit less of your evaporated milk, but I love it. I love how it turns out. It's not going to be, oh, 
excuse me, trying to get all that out of there. It's not going to be um, too sweet or anything like that because I am going to add cheese at the final um, step of this. Supported me a little bit, but that's all right. And let me just wipe this up because I spoiled myself. So at this point, I'm just getting it to come up to that boil. And then this is this will be when we add the grits. And you'll see that part. And it's actually coming up now. So it's not going to be that long. And I just like to keep stirring it. I am going to... um. Well, I might be able to do, do it with this spatula, but if not, I might switch utensils. Because I like to use, um, I like to make sure it's really, really, I like to use my um, soft spatula when I add my grits. Because I don't want them to be lumpy at all. And so, it's pretty much come up to a boil. And you'll know it'll start bubbling. Once it does that, you don't, you want to drop it down to maybe... I'd say medium low is where I dropped it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and measure out my one fourth cup of my grits. And I might add a little bit more butter to that at the end. So here's your one fourth cup. That's what that looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure it. I like to measure it over just in case you do a little bit more at least it fell into the pot not you know everywhere so this is how I do it and you just want to try to get it as close to that line and even it out as you can and then you just drop it in there and about this process you guys which I do go in with my soft spatula is really about stirring for me and you just want to stir it. Make sure it's on that medium low because you don't want it to. It'll start popping at you too as it thickens. Because right now, we just want it to thicken. And I'm going to show you because it's got that little bit of a brown consistency to it. So it's not grit white. And I might end up adding a little bit more grits to it. But the reason it's that way, like I said, is how I had the butter at the bottom. And I had my black pepper and everything and the condensed milk because of the color of it it turned the color of the grits a little bit so you'll see that they're not going to be white white but if you know your evaporated milk it's um kind of that tan color and then i'm just turning my my burner up a little bit to kind of get it to go up um because we want it to thicken now and i don't really want to have to add any more grits to that but sometimes I do I'll eye it and then I'll add a little bit because I want them to be thick now what I'm going to do right quick is I just want to taste it because I want to taste the flavors and make sure mm, wow <laughs> it's really good I will <laughs> um yeah wow that's really good it's a little sweet sweeter than I made it last time which is good but it's still got like all those other flavors in there I added just about another teaspoon I really don't think I need to add any more butter but normally I add butter at the end I'll put a little butter on on top of mine and then the cheese I add at the end as well because I kind of like the cheese um, to melt you know as I'm eating it and to this, I'm just adding a little bit more of my Johnny's because, like I said, it's a little sweet. Mm, wow. And then I'm just stirring it, you guys. You just want to make sure you keep stirring it. And then now it's pretty much time. I'm going to show you how it is because it will thicken as it stands. And I still have to fry my stand. So I want to show you guys right now how it is. And then I'm going to drop that down pretty much to very low because it's pretty much ready and it's just going to get better and better so if I would say on low 
just kind of let it go. You don't want it to get too thick. If that ever happens to you guys where it does get too thick, just add a little bit more of your milk. I wouldn't add no more evaporated milk, but um, some regular milk. Or you could even add a little water. I wouldn't add water. I would add milk. <laughs> but I'm going to drop him down. Yeah, that's good. I want to go, go ahead and put him in the bowl. Mm. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, it smells really good. And then the cheese on top, your girl's happy. So, I'm sorry, my nails. Here's what it looks like. I hope you guys can see that. And you see, yeah, and so it's just bubbling and coming together. I'm dropping them down really, really low. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, fry up my Spam. I'm not going to show you guys how I normally do that. Um, because I don't think you need to see that. But I will show you the final product. I'll show you my hash browns, my grits plated all up, and just a little brunch for you guys. So I'll be back soon. Alright you guys, so here's the final uh, product, and there's my grits, and I got my little cheese on top melting, there's my little fried Spam, and here's my hash browns with onions, and I just put pepper, garlic, and salt. Not that spectacular, but you gotta admit, it looks really, really good, and it tastes good, and I'm gonna sit down and enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And just in general type of videos you want to see. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you guys for um, enjoying my brunch with me. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Thank you guys for all of the views. I see them. Thank you for supporting. We just need to get those subscribers up. So I see you watching. Let's subscribe. Thank you guys. God bless. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.